So, following on from our social sessions film earlier this summer, we managed to fit in a quick trip to France to meet up with two of the guys from our European team, Christophe and Claudia. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it this time due to other commitments, but flying the flag for England was Richie and Jason. Let's see how they all got on over the course of the week. Chase. There it is. Looks lovely, mate. It's um, it's been sort of daunting on me, what, what it's going to be like. Obviously, you wouldn't tell me, would you? No, I wouldn't tell I've you. Sort of came, I've come here blind, and I was in France three weeks ago, and I'm kind of banking on what caught all of the fish on that holiday for me that it, it's going to work here and my first sight is it's definitely going to be an open water spot and I'm quite quite confident it's a lovely lovely lake what is the stock Jace? I don't know nothing about the stock or anything Jace didn't tell me the name don't know the stock um, just so it kept it interesting is was his words <laughs> yeah, so we're at, <laughs> we're at uh, Domaine de Buxier and there is 700 carp to go for in here, and it's 52 acres. We got me, you fishing this one, Claudia Christoph in the next one. What do you think? 700 in here. <laughs> Should we make a target? What's the target, bud? Well, for 700, we've easily got to get over 50. I reckon so. I reckon that's a reasonable target. Yeah. Right, well, let's get stuck in. Right, well, we're here, and all the best bits are starting to happen. Start mixing up the bait, start getting prepared. Now I've seen the lake. I'm really confident in, in the bait and everything that I've, that I've brought. I was on holiday a couple of weeks ago. I've gone with exactly the same bait, exactly the same tactics. In the mix that, that we're gonna be putting out this week, it's going to be the Tiger Nut Boilies, 18s and 20s. Every, every time I do a mix, I'm going to use a jar of the, the Sweet Particle, a jar of the Krill, a jar of Tiger Nuts, a jar of Maize. For me, getting a, a big carpet of food down for these big fish in France, there's nothing better. I'm looking forward to getting stuck into the fishing. Let's go. Mental first night. Six rods went in, six rods have gone off. Mid 40. How about that? Haven't weighed it yet, but it's a good 40, spawned out 50. First morning, this was the second bite. Me and Jay sort of put all our, all our eggs in one basket. We put six rods out on a line between 42 45 reps. There's a difference difference in depth of about a metre and all through the night we had one left the rod in didn't want to disturb the swim and by the morning all six rods on that line are all in and we've had six fish this being the biggest we're gonna wait now but what a perfect start what a beautiful morning hopefully a few more to come a couple of mid 30s first fish off the spot last night sort of wasn't very confident before going to bed and as we got in bed this one rattled off just under 37 pound and the start of what was a good productive night a couple of high 20s what a way to start Christos had a lovely 
18 kilo as well. They're on the bait, they're loving it. We're loving it. Gotta get this one back, because it's not all right. But, reload, try again. Simple as that. Let's see if we can keep it going. Nice bite in the daytime, Christoph. Yeah. Surprise. Yeah? Yeah, I, I was thinking that it's a small catfish because the, the swinger just fell down. But then after three, four seconds, the swinger just going up, up, up. And surprise, it's a car. Is this, is this a spot that you caught one on last night? Uh, no, it's another one. Another, so another bite off a new spot? I have, I have a small catfish with this rod in the night. I put it again out in the morning and you know, after two hours I get it. And feel a good fish? Looks a good fish. Mm, it is a good one, but uh, the water is so shallow that it is difficult to say something. And it's the second fish, so I don't get a feeling yet how they're fighting here. So how many is that now? Two? Three. How many is that now? Two? Three. Three. Heavy. Four takes on a left rod. And I change, I put another one more left and just from the left side. Big fish is life. You don't even get the little ones out of the net. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that. But that marker is moving around all over the place. I reckon there's a few more bites here. What do you say? <laughs> With all the guys now settled in, the spots were beginning to develop nicely and everyone was catching consistently. It was a case of continuing what they were doing in a matter of time before something big swam over the net cord. What's this one then, Jace? Number three for me. It's uh, morning number two. And another good morning. I think we're up to nine bites now, aren't we, Rich? Yep, nine bites off the spot, mate. This is the biggest one of the trip for me. Scraper 30. Happy with that. 
slowly getting bigger. The main thing to take from this is they are eating the tiger nuts. The frenzy tiger nuts and the chopped tiger nuts are well and truly in this retaining sling. I'm gonna get this one back, have some porridge, and uh, we'll go from there. Get in, Rich. Happy days. Quality, mate. So it's the French trip. Me and Christoph together fishing. It's a really huge honor to fish with Christoph. I learned already so much. As you can see, very good carp fighting a lot. So, yeah. he's a really genius. <laughs> <laughs> we had already a nice session in two days, uh, 20 fish. So this one is the biggest one, 21.8. And yeah, it's really a really nice trip and with amazing people around. So really enjoying. It's like mom and oh God. Wrong direction. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> yeah, he did a good job. My amazing. Very good job. Very good. So now we can let it go. crackling and popping away anyway it's already going it's a victory barbecue do you reckon it needs any more coal in there that'd be all right wouldn't it no that's yeah that's plenty so what we've we been up to today rich today well i've had a bit of a busy day haven't we? we found found some fish closer in caught a couple of them and then the shop was open. So we did a shop run, and now we can eat. We can eat good. And that is now our main priority. That is the main, the main key, because the last two days, <laughs> I've lived off porridge. <laughs> and Burger King. Yeah, and Burger King, yeah, for breakfast, and Burger King for tea, <laughs> Burger King and the Ridge Monkey. So, this, it's gonna be like an actual, what do you call it? A Good feast. bit of food? Yeah. A feast. A feast in the making, this is. Get some air in that bag. The, the cold that Jace picked up ain't got bags. <laughs> so we've got to make it. You are a twisted fire starter. I do like a fire. Here we are. After the third night, sorry, I've got a wasp blowing around me. Um, got a nice common, had two off the baited spot last night, which is far out, and two closer in. This was the biggest one off of the main area. Um, it's a low 30 common. For me, it's the biggest common of the trip. So I sort of wanted to show you this one. Uh, since this morning, I rested the, rested the baited spot. I put a rod closer in with the bait boat between sort of 25 and 27 wraps, two rods. Uh, the right hand rod was quickly to go off. I got a, a nice mirror to show you that, but 
for the rest of the day, I think we can go out on the main spot, put some bait out, let the fish have some food. We're going to fish six rod spread across all of the sort of the, sh the shallow shelf that we've got out of our swim. See what today brings. So, fingers crossed, we can we can show you show you another one, but a bigger one later on. This one go. There'd be two two things about it. The best bit for me is watching the fish swim back in the beautiful sunshine in the shallow water. You can barely even see them, all that's only four inches below the surface, that fish. And then secondly, everything that it's eaten. We give, the, give it a good clean out. Do you think he was on there more than more than the bite took? <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. And it's been the same with, with every every fish we've, we've we've kept to do photos of the better ones, the nicer ones. I'll, I'll see you in the morning. I'll see you at seven, mate. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Half nine it was. But refreshed I am. I really am feeling better for it today and what a way to start with an absolute pile of like this. This was the bait boat rod. It seems to be very effective during the day. Um, the fun we're having, I was actually over by Christoph because he had a double take and then my rod goes off. So in total we had a triple take all at the same time. So yeah, mental place. Thank you to Claudia, it's yeah, it's a mega. We're gonna slip this back and crack on with the bacon and sausage sandwiches. Happy days. 30, maybe scrape a 30 mirror, haven't weighed it. Again, sort of size is irrelevant, I'm not worried about the size. But to keep catching these fish. As sort of prolific as we are, um, just gonna keep doing what we're doing. Um, and hopefully have, have a few more of these. Um, what a day me and Jason had. Fish is lively, we've had them in a sack for a half hour or so. But we've, um, we've had a, a day from hell really. The wind got up, easy sort of 30, 40 mile an hour gusts uh, on a big open lake. It's, the problem we've got is all of the siltweed coming up, getting embedded on the line, a big crosswind and you, you sat there thinking, is, is, the, is the toe of the wind and all of the weed on the line pulling the leads off the spot? And, and we got to a point where we nearly reeled them off the spot, didn't we? Yeah, it was getting close. But we, um, we persevered. We had to do, we, we redone every rod, six rods, and a nice long spread. Jace has gone shorter because the fish is showing shorter. I'm still on the same spot, which is long. Um, so we did redid all of the rods and with him, Within sort of six hours, we'd had a bite on every rod. These are the two biggest, so we kept these to show you. But um, the other ones went back, and we've now got the, the missions of, of getting our rods out. There is a hefty storm coming in the background. I'm just sort of looking at that now, James. Have you seen that? Yeah, it's, it's so coming in fast. We're going to get wet redoing these rods. So, on that note, I think. Let's get him back. Get him back, mate. And um, rods out. Get him out for the night because it's going to be a good night, I think. The conditions are prime, absolutely perfect. Let's do this. Let's do it.
Right. Just as we're doing a return, as it's all floating about, we've got all this siltweed that the sun has pulled off the bottom yesterday. It's a shallow lake. Um, and today we've got a big, big crosswind and it's just coming right the way down. We're in the middle of the lake and it's just sticking to our lines and the weight of that build up after build up is just, we're having kind of that banana effect with our line. And the weight of it is, it's just been absolutely savage to say the least. But we've, we've dealt with it, we've put our rods out in the lake now. It's just, it's just flicked around and has a look at them. We're still fishing, the other guys have reeled in because of this, so we've done well. But there's mine, off it goes. Ooh, 39 pound a bit. You can just, it's empty. Oh, <laughs> 35 pounds of it. Because it's gonna get wet. Look at that for a storm coming. Look at that. It's uh, really starting to rain here now. So I'm gonna have to get this back, get the camera gear in, because this is mental. But look at it, what a creature. Storming away. Nine fish through the night. Crazy times. Right, see you later. This was the fifth, fifth fish from last night. Getting dark. Well, it was dark. I had a double take on the middle and the right hand rod. And the weather was rainy, it was windy, it was pretty savage. I sort of stood around with Jace thinking, do I redo the rods? And I redid the rods and they both both went off again, off, off the same spot. Kept this one to show you. This was the last bite, this was the fifth bite. But again, lovely conditioned fish, around 30 pound, I've not weighed it. Size is irrelevant for me, it's just, it's just amazing catching these lovely fish. Having a sort of amazing time with everybody else, all the guys. Lots of fish coming out, and and yeah, it's um, getting getting to the end of the holiday. So we're going to carry on doing what we're doing, and we'll show you the big ones. For this session here at this lake in France, we are using just sweet tiger nuts in two different sizes: red armo and tiger nuts 20 and 15 millimeters. Here you see the bucket because of we have a lot of small catfish and we want to avoid some troubles. So therefore just sweet boilies. Yep. And with boilies we're feeding with mix of particles. Uh, always good option are tigers. So we feed with tigers, with chopped tigers and with three different particles from dynamite baits. That's it. So today is the fifth day and uh, Dynamite Bait team is really successful at this lake. Uh, we caught four people together, 80 fish already. And uh, this tactics is for sure the good one. Uh, because before we arrived here, people say, if you caught three, four fish a day, it's perfect. But most of the days we caught 15 fish a day. So I think the, the baits and the tactic is really successful. Yeah. I totally agree. <laughs> Their determination not to give up when it got a bit tough meant the boys had battled the storm and reaped the rewards with some lovely carp. Well done lads and also to Claudia with the biggest fish of the trip. I have to put my hand next to it because you won't believe how it's But look here, when I, when I saw this, I was, I was sure that it's 50. But it's nothing, nothing here.
can't not believe it. <laughs> I'm not fishing all day or all night. Just sometimes I get the rods out. I never expected that. <laughs> never. Well, I have to admit, Christoph is such a nice guy. He teach me already a lot. Without him, I could not make it. So we are a good team, as well as you guys. Thank you for everything. Look at the whip of that thing. <laughs> I think that's a good way to end. Well, well done. Thanks well for the invite. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you, you so much for joining me. What a no beast to end on. Look at it. I've never seen a carp with skin no. like this. Never. It's amazing. Well, guys. Another good, good social session. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> Till the next yep. one. Woo!